take away Aaron Rodgers injured, Adrian Peterson reborn. Week 6 in the NFL just seemed to prove that fantasy owners can't have nice things. After arguably the top running back, David Johnson, and one of the top wide receivers, Odell Beckham Jr., were hit with major injuries, the quarterback position took a critical blow when Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers suffered a broken collarbone. The Packers' offense has been one thing fantasy owners can count on, and with Rodgers facing a potential season-ending injury, things will look considerably different with backup Brett Hundley under center. All Packers skill players get a downgrade in value with Rodgers no longer around to buy extra time in the pocket and provide those magical throws. After Rodgers left, Hundley completed 18 of 33 passes for 157 yards, with a touchdown and three interceptions. Rodgers had just three interceptions in four-plus games. Defenses, and special teams, matter. There were 11 touchdowns scored by defenses and special teams during Sunday's early afternoon games. The New Orleans Saints led the way with three, a fumble recovery and two interception return TDs, in a shootout win over the Detroit Lions. They also sacked Detroit QB Matthew Stafford five times. Not to be outdone. The Lions had a punt return and an interception return for touchdowns as the two teams combined for 90 points. Surprisingly, Saints quarterback Drew Brees threw for only 186 yards, seven fewer than the team gained on the ground. More on that later. Elsewhere, the Houston Texans and Cleveland Browns traded interception returns for scores. The Baltimore Ravens returned both a kickoff and punt for a touchdown. And the Chicago Bears took a Joe Flacco pick all the way for a TD. Not to be outdone, the Los Angeles Rams began their late afternoon game with Far Cooper taking the opening kickoff 103 yards to pay dirt. All of those seemingly random events underscore an important thing to remember when picking a defense each week, it's not necessarily about how many points they will allow or whether or not they'll win. The greatest impact on a fantasy defense's value is its ability to create turnovers. Early Waiver Wire Nothing on Sunday will carry as much weight for fantasy owners than last Thursday's reinstatement of Ezekiel Elliott's six-game suspension. The Dallas Cowboys will presumably turn to a tandem of Alfred Morris and Darren McFadden at running back. Exactly how they'll divide the touches is hard to predict. But considering their respective skill sets, Morris figures to be more valuable in standard scoring leagues and McFadden has the upper hand in point per reception leagues. Injuries to Rodgers and Tampa Bay's J. Mays Winston, plus the benching of Brian Hoyer in San Francisco could put a premium on finding a quarterback on this week's waiver wire. Green Bay's Hundley is worth considering, even though he didn't light up the scoreboard after taking over for Rodgers. He still has more weapons than most quarterbacks. Owners may have to take a second look at Josh McCown of the New York Jets, who threw for 354 yards and two touchdowns in a loss to New England. In San Francisco, rookie C.J. Beathard completed 19 of 36 passes for 245 yards and a TD in relief of Hoyer. The Niners have already announced he'll start next week against the Cowboys and the New England Patriots may have a new number one running back with Deion Lewis getting more carries than starter Mike Gisley, and getting the call on a one-yard touchdown. Lewis finished with 11 rushes for 52 yards, compared to Gisley's 10 for 44 with a lost fumble. Lewis is worth a speculative pickup, but then again we are talking about the unpredictable Patriots. Welcome back, all day. When future Hall of Fame Ray Adrian Peterson was traded last week to the Arizona Cardinals, fantasy owners weren't too thrilled to see him joining the NFL's worst rushing offense. Peterson rushed for a total of 81 yards on 27 carries in four games with the New Orleans Saints. But Peterson topped it in his first half with his new team, scoring on a 27-year run in his first series. And New Day may have dawned in the desert as Peterson finished with 134 yards and two touchdowns on 26 carries, averaging 5.2 yards a tote. Meanwhile, Peterson's threat as a runner opened things up for Carson Palmer to complete all 13 of his pass attempts, with two touchdowns, in the first half. 
he finished 18 of 22 for 283 yards and three scores. Larry Fitzgerald led the receivers with 10 catches for 138 yards and a TD. Broad Shoulders Award Our weekly honor for the player who single-handedly carried his fantasy owners to victory this week goes to New Orleans Saints running back Mark Ingram. In that shootout game against the Lions, Ingram got the job done on the ground, 25 carries, 114 yards, TD, and through the air, 5 catches. 36 yards. Despite losing a fumble, Ingram's 30 fantasy points, PPR scoring, and made the case that the Saints' offense really didn't need Peterson that much anyway. San Diego's Melvin Gordon did have a better overall performance, 150 total yards, 9 receptions, 2 TDs, but Ingram is most likely a number 2 running back on most fantasy teams who played like a true number 1 on Sunday.